Okay. So, guys going hunting, cheating, and uh, not really hunting. So, pulled out of the archives a crazy, crazy set of calls. And then I've got some people on the phone lines here this morning that want to give wives of hunters a little word of warning. And Rachel, you should be listening to this because I know Capricorn's doing some hunting. They may not necessarily always be hunting. Take a listen to these first couple of calls of people that admitted some things to us on the show in the past. And then we've got a really crazy call that I want to get to right afterwards. Hey, Sam. Yeah. All right. You're going up north hunting, right? Sort of. (laughs) Where are you going? Vegas. (laughs) Does does she think that you're going hunting? Oh, yeah. So she thinks you're going up north? Uh, Yeah. Wow. And why don't you just tell her that you're going away with your guy friends for the weekend? Well, it's tradition for us to always go hunting every year. Uh Uh-huh. It's been about like four or five years in a row. But uh, pretty much uh, this year, you know, we we haven't really done anything. We're uh, all graduate students. We've been going to med school and... It's just been stressful, so, you know, I think it's kind of boring sometimes, and all of us are drinkers, you know. So this is going to be more fun. Now, what happens when you come home with nothing? What are you going to say? Well, we did it last year, and we ended up going to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got, a, I got a tan, a farmer's tan, and I ended up buying a moose head from Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Is that an unbelievable call? Mm-hmm. Check this next one out. This next one, I'm listening back to it going, ooh, this is a little creepy. Right? Hey, Bob. Yes. Hey, Bob, what really goes on when you're up north hunting? Well, what we do is we get an escort and have her come up and spend the night with us out in the cabin. One escort for all the guys? Yep, there's four of us. How's that work? Uh, what do you mean? She'll go with all four of you guys? Oh, yeah, all weekend. Well, I mean, we take turns, you know. Wow. What does she do? Does she dance and or does yeah, she... Yeah, hang out. We just we play strip poker and just... To have a good time. You guys use the same girl like every year? No, no, no. Last year, last year we didn't care for her. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. That, by the way, seemed gross, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, a little bit. Wow. On the phone with us is Lee, who uh, Lee gets hired every single year by hunters. Lee, you want to tell everybody what you get hired to do? Yeah, to party with them about a week to a few days before they're really going hunting. They tell their wives that they're going hunting, and they get a hotel in the area, and we all party with them. Really? And when you say party with them, are you partying with them with clothes on or clothes off? Oh, no. I mean, I make money. <laughs> ah. So clothes off, right? obviously. Clothes optional on this one. Are, are you a professional? Are you uh, somebody that does this for a living? Well, uh, I'm a stripper. Okay. So, but, uh, and it's only during the hunting season when I party with the customers. How do they, how do they get a hold of you? Where do you advertise this hunting stripping business? At my job. I don't even ever, it's not even, they come to us. Really? Oh, okay. What do you mean? So she's, so you're a stripper at a, at a regular, you know, gentleman's club, but these guys Uh come to you for a little after hours activity and say, Hey, we're going up North. You want to go? and then you, they bring you up north with them? They do not. They stay in the area. They tell their wives, all right, we're going up north. Oh. And it's a week, a few days before they really actually leave up north, and they get a hotel in the area. Mm-hmm. Aren't they afraid that their wives are going to bump into them, or they're going to find out? they just like, stay in the hotel the whole time? That's their problem. That's fine. Oh. Like, I'm, I'm thinking of... Yeah. You know, the War of the Roses, this lady, Jackie, who did the find a phone on the uh, iPhone and found right. out that her guy was in Columbus, Ohio, you know? Right. Well, nowadays, I should probably watch my back with that, huh? Yeah. I well, know. I guess they order pizza to be delivered. They're not <laughs> se- they're not going out for it because they're going to yeah, bump the, into somebody. But the find you know? my iPhone is still, that would still bust them so easily because it would show that they're still here and not up north. Right. Yet. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What is so. the what's the uh, the deal with these mm. guys that they're like that? Right, that excites them. They just have a little something different every once in a while. Yeah, mm. I don't know. All right. Well, thank you. When is Capricorn going hunting, Rachel? When, when is Capricorn? <laughs> <Segway. had> a- <laughs> he leaves on Saturday. Oh, Are man. you sure? <laughs> I mean, I trust him. He's had girls give him phone numbers at the bar. Oh, so he does go to bars and stuff at night. Yeah, he just goes. They have burgers and beers and pay, play pool. 
Uh, what's going on? Do you give him an allowance, by the way, for that? Does he have a certain amount of money he can spend? He's actually been earning his own money pulling docs this year. So oh, I he's all good. I understand that, but don't you always keep track of what he's uh, spending money on? No, as long as he gives me what I need first, he can go spend whatever he wants. Hey, Dave, what's going on? Good morning. Good morning. You know, everybody's talking about the husband's cheating, but what about the wife's cheating? Yeah, because I'll tell you what, that happens too. We've caught people in War of the Roses. We've caught women. I think they're just a little smarter and sneakier about it. Guys are generally dumb and catch themselves a lot easier. I was given a number two years ago at a bar up at Deer Camp from a married wife during Hunter's Weekend. Really? We like her husband yeah. was away and she was lonely? There was a group of women, eight of, uh, eight of them. My uh, friend of mine and I were in this bar. They bought us drinks. They invited us over. Ended up giving us phone numbers. Hmm. Wow. What did you do with those phone numbers? I called it once, and I quit calling it. <laughs> why, did you, why did you quit calling it? I feel like we're playing a little game here. I know. What, what, well, I, because, because it was, I found out that it was just a bunch of bull. What do you mean? Um, <laughs> I don't know why to go there. Okay. Well, now, right. wait a minute. I'm you, curious. You're leaving yeah. out the best part of the story. What do, you, what do you mean? All right, all right, all right. So I, I was bought a drink. We were invited over to their table. They invited us to go out to the show where they were going. Mm -hmm. uh, I was given the phone number. I called the. I called her uh, once or twice. I ended up meeting up with her. Well, being a, a married mom, she's always busy. Nothing ever went. Nothing ever happened. I tried setting something up with her. Nothing ever happened. So I, you know, I, I left it alone. So you even tried you after you knew she was a married mom. <laughs> hey, if she's the one's going out cheating, it's not my fault. Uh, uh, okay. yes, it <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. You're part of that. I, uh, I like how you started off with this altruism when you called and you were like, what about women? They cheat. They're dirty. And then you admit to like, well, you're a part of that. But wait a minute. I'm a single guy. Okay. Right. If she's going to, if she's going to go out and she, I'm not the one doing it. It's her doing it. But I, you're still playing into that. Yeah. I hear what you're knowing saying. Knowing that she's married. You don't have anyone to answer to, but you you still are showing your character by saying, I know she's a mom and a wife and I'm still cool with, you know, being a part of that. Well, she was just looking for a little fling on the side. Okay. And, that's how, and, that's and that's what you wanted. You wanted to know strings attached fling. So if that's you were in a relationship... And your girl got with a guy who knew about you, and he was like, "Well, it was just something on the side." Would I'm you be single. okay with that? Yeah. I'm not in a relationship. That's a different. That's okay. He's not even. <laughs> Megan, just he's stop not even trying. Hypothetical. I mean, Dave, right. I'd be worried about karma <laughs> after. All right.